Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope uh, that you are keeping well and you are enjoying the mission of your life, whether you are with your family or at work, everywhere. Today, my talk with you would be very challenging. It will be mainly asking difficult questions for all of us needs an answer. I'm not going to lecture, but I'm going to talk about challenges which are facing us. Why I chosen the title of this talk is Planet of the Ape and uh, Bitcoin. If you remember in the 70s and the 80s, there's some movies, American movies, called Planet Ape by Charlton Houston, then some recent ones came. Those human beings landed in an area which is controlled by Abe. The Abe were, were in charge. And they were enslaving human people, human beings. The second movie which I saw, the human being landed by their space shuttle into a planet controlled by Abe. And when they tried to run away from them with another space shuttle, or they actually mended the broken space shuttle, they went back to where they came from in America, and they found that the ape have control over the country. Why I'm talking about all this introduction? Because we need to go back to the history of man and ask very few questions today is you have to answer the question I am going to ask many many questions the first one is can we move to the second one the history of writing and archiving of information if you remember man when he or she came to earth they start after they settle down communicate with one another Start writing, writing by, on stones, by stones, or writing on stones by metals. Then they start to draw their writing, their feeling, they, to draw their feeling, record their life on walls of temples, painting it. Okay? Then they were engraving it on wood, sometimes sticking it onto pieces of cloth, leather, and the others. Then they invented the pen and the ink later on, and they discovered the paper, which was a revolution at that time. And from, the, from there they discovered, or actually the typewriting machines, or they manufactured the typewriting machines. And from the typewriting machine, they started to develop it into computer. And the computer is what we see the high-tech industry now of social media and others. So when we look at this, in the good old days, we used to store our information on wall, then on paper, then on the computer, on a desk. Then nowadays, in the cloud. In the cloud. Okay? This is the high-tech technology of archiving and writing. The second question is, for us, the history of coins and currencies. In the good old days, it was gold, silver, copper, bronze. Okay? Then it became... Banknotes, paper, whether it is dollar or yen, Japanese yen, dirham, dinar, uh, ruble, rubies, and others, sterling, euro, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Then your wealth in the bank becomes just a, a, a number. Just a number. And recently, your wealth now become an electronic coin called bit 
coin. See, from the, from the value of the gold itself to a Bitcoin which in the cloud. All your wealth become a part of the cloud of the high tech system. You don't see your gold. You don't see your silver. You don't see your wealth. You don't touch it. You don't live with it, but it is in the cloud. This is the second challenge. Storage of information in the cloud. Your wealth and my wealth become in the cloud. I have no control over it. I have no control over the data I am storing in my computer or the wealth which have been fighting hard for the last 40 and 50 years in my life to gain it, it becomes a Bitcoin or uh, something in the cloud. The third question, who controls technology? This is something you have to ask yourself, we have to ask ourselves nowadays. Because from the very beginning and from the title of my talk today, I will not become a monkey. I will not become a monkey. I will not become a monkey. Okay? Who control the technology? USA, Canada, Europe, China, Japan, Russia, India, Brazil, South Africa. Who? Who? South Africa, Turkey, Singapore, Iran, Arab countries, very highly technically advanced, or Muslim countries? Give me the answer. Because you and me are refusing to become monkeys. You have to give the answer which prevents you and me from becoming monkeys or you give the answer which makes you become a monkey. But I decided myself, I will not become a monkey. I will never become a monkey. This is the third challenge for all of us. Okay, next please. You need to answer all these questions at home with your colleague. Foundation of economy. What is the economy is about? The pillars of economy. The pillars of industry is about your land. It's about the water, the rivers, seas, oceans. It's about what you discover of mineral, natural resources, oil, gas. It's about your human resources. It's about your geographical location. It's about the makeup of the country itself. It's about the climate. It's about your culture, your values, your customs, your tradition, and your belief. All these components create a strong or weak economy of your country or of your city. If we look at them collectively, we we'll find that these are the pillars of economy. If you want to build a strong economy, the most important pillar amongst all of this is human resources. Look at it when you answer the questions of the three other points before. Next, please. What the most part of industries, markets, top 10 uh, richest country, uh, uh, companies, and people. If we look at the industries surrounding us, and this is another challenge, what are the most powerful, strongest ones that we have around us? Is it military and manufacturing arms? Is it high tech? Digital? Is it information technology? Is it 
petrochemical industry, is it prostitution, pornography, is it drugs, is it cinema and media, is it football, or become now the new prophecy of humanity, is it political, is it cultural, is it values, is it history and ideology, which is the most strong, the, the powerful industry of this. Or is it education, syllabus, research, or is it how we make stars out of Hollywood and others, our social or societal stars? These are the industries which I am challenging myself and you to put them down and look at them and see which is the most powerful, strongest, advanced Dusty that can control the universe. And based on this, you found the richest companies and you found the most richest people on earth. Clear? This is challenge number come. Number what? Challenge number five or six. Okay? Industries, history of writing, archiving, currencies. Who is controlling technology, industries, and the foundation of the economy? Next one, please. The dimension of our global market, financial and the economical. Stock market, who is in control of it? Digital market, who is in control of it? Fintech, which another one, financial, technical, Digital market. Okay. And specialized market in certain industries. Okay. Traditional market at home. Local markets for handicrafts and for village product and others. These dimensions of creating markets is extremely important for us and you to understand how to prevent ourselves from becoming monkeys. Because if we surrender to what's imposed upon us by others, we'll be living in the planet Ape and we become amongst the monkeys. But if we create our economy and our market and our independence, we'll be able to create our own planet and live as human beings. Okay, next please. What happened? Ah, this is the big ask, which does not, did not let me to sleep for a few weeks. What happened if the system collapsed? Boom. A big boom. If we as individuals lose all our information, our knowledge, in the cloud, which created to hold all our knowledge. If all the archive of the knowledge has been gone, gone with the wind, what will happen to you, to me as individuals, our wealth, our knowledge, our writing, our experience, and what will happen to the whole world? Then, the second biggest ask is who will, uh, who will control this knowledge that we lost? Okay? And to control the masses. It definitely is not you. Definitely is not me. Definitely is not us. Somebody else will have the source or the key or the password for another system could be created to control the billions of apes living, controlled them by the hundreds of the thousands of masters that actually they control the knowledge and the wealth. Okay? What will the world look like after the system breakdown? Will we become tribes, villages, okay? families, 
individuals who live in villages and avenues and houses and the flats, community centers, uh, camps, slums. What will look like will be transformed from being a state, a district, a city, a town into slums, into individuals, into people who can go back and live in caves, jungles, jungle man. Is it right? Will it be the people of the jungle again? This is what will happen, or what might happen to us if the system broke down. And our wealth and the information will evaporate and will disappear. How can we live? And what kind of world that we are going to face when the system breaks down? Okay? Next, please. Even our religion. Now we have major religion. We talk about Islam, Christianity, Judaism as revealed from the heavenly God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then we talk about other religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, like Rastafaria, like... Uh, uh, Sikhism and so Jina and so on, so on, so on, so on. Will this religion become sects, sectarian discussion, come an opinion of a scholar, come an opinion of an individual, or become what? What kind of new religion that will come when we? go back after the system collapses and live in slums, live in camps, live in jungle like the jungle man and others. What will be our religion when the system collapsed? Whether it's collapsed purposely or by mistake or by default. And who is going to control those masses? The people who control the market? The people who control the economy? The people who control the technology? The people who control the industry? Are they the same people? Are you amongst them? Are we amongst them? Or are we amongst the planet Abe? Are the group of monkey following blindly? Everything and be happy without knowing what is the end result of this. Prophet said long time ago, a day will come when you will follow your enemy. Meter by meter or arm's length by arm's length. A span of your hand by span of the hand. And if they go and enter a cave or a hole or a tunnel, you will follow blindly. Prophet said, don't be like Egypt's Imma'a. When people do something good, you follow. When people do something bad, you follow. When people deceive, you follow. When people they excel, you follow. No, don't be Imma'a, Egypt. And B, supporting the goodness of the good act of people and stop to prevent the bad act from people which can destroy community and society. Next. What is our solution? I talked about all these challenges which I want. I'm challenging you. Wallahi, and I'm challenging you. Stop hypothesizing. Stop bringing hot air discussion. Stop living in a cloud and in utopian world. Stop become our armchair warrior and go to the challenging questions. 
Now I put some solution on the table for all of us. This is my own personal uh, uh, opinion, which could be right, could be wrong. First step of this solution to prevent ourselves from becoming the planet of Abe is belief. Your faith, your belief. Believe in what? Believe in God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Believe in your country. Believe in your nationality, your society. Believe in your history, your culture, your manner. Believe in your geographical location. This belongs to me, to my parents, to my father, to my country, to my nation. Believe in myself. The more you believe in God, the more you have confidence in yourself. This is number one, belief for the solution. Second, one is education and being able to learn and comprehend and understand after, after education is understanding the knowledge that you are learning. Then understanding the value of such knowledge to become aware and advocate for it. Education is number two. Number three, the applied technology or the applied uh, 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 connection are applied when you start to actually go out and experiment your ideas, okay? Connect with the people. Mix with the people. Interact with the people. Put your idea into test with the people. Connect, communicate, com complement what others are doing and exchange the views and knowledge. Don't live in isolation. Once you live in isolation, the master of the apes will transform us to apes and monkeys. Coordinate. Cooperate, build partnership, build coalition. This is where you can change the climate which can make us monkeys and live in the planet of Ape. Make more, so, more social interaction with the people, especially the youth. Let them to go out, to interact, to learn by mistake. To learn from their failure. To learn from the people's experience and criticism. The more we interact with our society, the more we will discover the wealth of our society. The more we strengthen the backbone of our society. The more we will connect and will tighten the loose ends of our society. And the more we create stronger leaders to understand the depth and the multidimensional problem facing our society. Social interaction. If you have a government which prevents you from having social interaction, be sure that this government is transforming you and me into monkeys controlled by the chains they have in their hands. What's your reference in your life? Is it God? It has to be God, it has to be your nation, your country, your society, specialist or scholars in the society, your family, your tribe, even the citizen. Because if you claim or if I claim that I am going to serve the citizen, he should become a reference point for me. Listen to him or her and do what they need because I am responsible for them. How can we build our local economy? Because if you would like to be independent, free thinker, free lover, you have to have a strong economy. Brothers and sisters, remember your great-grandfather and mothers and uh, the great-great-great-great-grandfathers and mothers everywhere. What, do, what their job were? They were farmers, they were laborers, they were mechanics, 
they were carpenters, they were elementary teachers, they were imam or clergy in the church, or monks, they were salesmen and saleswomen. This was the profession. But they managed to build the local market, which created a stronger local economy to build a state later on. Independence is the key that prevents you and me from becoming monkeys, huh? led by the people who had the golden chain and tying it around their, our neck, arms, and legs. Okay? When you build your local economy, build it on two, two things, natural resources and local human resources. Start small and grow big. Also in your society, you have to establish justice, equality between all. Give freedom to everyone. Bring peace and safety and social justice to be before every and each one of us. We are all equal before God, before the law, before the society, before one another, before each individual in the society or each citizen of the society. To conclude, next one please. As I promised you, that's me. I will never let myself to become a monkey. And I will fight hard for you not to become a monkey as well. You are a human being created by Allah to govern and develop the universe and discover other planets in other galaxies. So I will guarantee you that I will fight hard for my life not to be a monkey. But I will be this man that Allah has created him, or this woman, or this girl, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him or her to be custodian of the universe, looking after uh, other creatures of God. So let us look back to the seven or eight questions and challenging questions which I put for you and you answer it and you contact me. I don't want you to fail because you should lead. I am, my age is going very fast to its end. But you're, you are the rising stars for the generations to come to prevent our society from being controlled by the people who have golden chain and treat us like monkeys and apes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.